thinking about getting a new laptop in 2025. The Dell XPS 13 and the M3 MacBook Air 13 are two of the most talked about ultra portables, but which one is actually worth your money? In this video, we'll compare their performance, battery life, and overall value. Watch till the end before you buy, because by the time we're done, you'll know which laptop is the real winner. Links for the latest deals are in the description. Like the video, it really helps me out. The Dell XPS 13 and the MacBook Air 13 M3 both emphasize sleek premium designs, but their approaches to build quality and usability differ significantly. Dell continues its minimalist, almost futuristic aesthetic with a seamless aluminum and glass body closely resembling the previous XPS 13 Plus. It feels meticulously crafted with a compact and lightweight form factor, though its edge-to-edge -edge keyboard and invisible trackpad divide opinions. The MacBook Air, on the other hand, retains Apple's classic unibody aluminum chassis, offering a more traditional and refined feel. Its tapered design, although no longer as pronounced as older models, maintains a thin and balanced profile, making it one of the lightest and most portable laptops available. Both laptops weigh around 2.7 pounds, making them highly portable, but Apple's design leans into timeless elegance, while Dell pushes the envelope with a modern, streamlined approach. Port selection is where both devices make compromises in the pursuit of thinness, but the MacBook Air arguably handles it better. The XPS 13 is extremely minimalistic, offering just two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports with DisplayPort and power delivery support. There's no headphone jack, no dedicated charging port, and no additional connectivity beyond what you can achieve with adapters. Dell does include a USB-A and HDMI dongle in the box, but users reliant on multiple wired peripherals may find the lack of built-in options limiting. Apple, while also favoring a minimalistic approach, provides a more practical setup. The MacBook Air includes two Thunderbolt USB 4 ports, a MagSafe 3 charging port, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. While both USB-C ports are located on the left side, MagSafe charging ensures that one of them remains free, a small but meaningful advantage. Both laptops deliver exceptional craftsmanship, but the MacBook Air prioritizes user comfort with a more familiar and functional layout, whereas the XPS 13 takes bold design risks that might not appeal to everyone. Apple's use of recycled aluminum and attention to detail in finishing touches, like its anodization seal on the midnight color, further emphasize a balance between aesthetics and practicality, whereas Dell's design feels like an exercise in futuristic minimalism with some usability trade-offs. Both laptops offer two distinct display experiences, each catering to different priorities. The XPS 13 comes with a base 1920 by 1200 IPS display offering a smooth 120 Hz refresh rate and solid brightness at 500 nits. It ensures fluid motion, reducing ghosting in everyday tasks and light gaming, though its color accuracy is decent rather than exceptional. Higher tier configurations include a sharper 2560 by 1600 touchscreen or a 2880 by 1800 OLED panel which delivers deep blacks and rich contrast, albeit with a lower 60 Hz refresh rate. The MacBook Air, on the other hand, sports a 13.6-inch liquid retina display with a resolution of 2560 by 1664. While it lacks a high refresh rate, its color accuracy, contrast, and sharpness surpass the XPS 13's base panel, making it better suited for creative tasks. At 500 nits, it matches the brightness of the XPS, but the overall color reproduction and true tone technology give it an edge in delivering a more refined viewing experience. When it comes to the keyboard and trackpad, the two laptops take very different approaches. The XPS 13 features a nearly edge-to-edge -edge keyboard, which looks modern but sacrifices some usability. The keys have minimal spacing, making touch typing slightly challenging, and the capacitive function row requires users to rely on a touch-sensitive strip, which isn't as intuitive as physical keys. The MacBook Air, by contrast, sticks with Apple's tried-and-true Magic Keyboard, providing well-spaced keys with satisfying tactile feedback. Typing feels more precise, and the traditional function row remains practical for quick adjustments. The trackpads on both laptops are well executed, but differ in their mechanisms. Dell integrates a seamless glass trackpad with haptic feedback, ensuring a sleek design that works well across the entire surface. It registers swipes and gestures effectively, 
but some users may take time to adjust to the lack of a physical click. Apple's Force Touch trackpad, however, remains the gold standard, offering precise input, excellent palm rejection, and uniform haptic feedback that makes every press feel consistent. Battery life is another area where the MacBook Air pulls ahead. Thanks to the efficiency of Apple's M3 chip and macOS optimizations, the MacBook Air delivers up to 18 hours of video playback, consistently outlasting the XPS 13 in real-world use. In comparison, Dell's 55-watt-hour battery, while decent, powers a more power-hungry Intel processor, limiting its longevity to around 14 hours in similar conditions. While both laptops can comfortably last a full workday, the MacBook Air's superior power efficiency means less reliance on charging, making it a better choice for those who prioritize all-day battery life without carrying a charger. Both laptops take different approaches when it comes to processing power. The XPS 13 is equipped with Intel's Core Ultra 7 155H processor, which is designed for thin and light Windows laptops, but struggles with sustained workloads due to thermal constraints. While it performs well for general productivity tasks, it falls behind other Windows laptops with similar specs. In contrast, the M3 MacBook Air benefits from Apple's highly efficient 3 nanometer chip design, delivering strong single-core performance and better overall power efficiency. The M3 chip outperforms the Intel Core Ultra 7 in many real-world scenarios, particularly in optimized macOS applications, where its unified memory architecture plays a key role. When it comes to video editing, the MacBook Air holds a clear advantage. The XPS 13, while capable, experiences noticeable throttling during sustained workloads. Benchmarks such as Cinebench R20 reveal thermal limitations with performance dropping over extended tasks. In video encoding, the XPS 13 takes significantly longer than its competitors, which affects workflow efficiency. On the other hand, the MacBook Air's M3 chip, combined with its optimized media engine, accelerates tasks in Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere Pro. Despite lacking a dedicated GPU, the M3's integrated 10-core GPU delivers solid results. Gaming is an area where neither laptop is particularly strong, but the XPS 13's Intel Arc integrated graphics provide better compatibility with Windows games. However, its limited cooling affects performance consistency. The MacBook Air, while not designed for gaming, benefits from metal optimizations and can run select titles like Baldur's Gate 3 at playable frame rates. However, the lack of active cooling means it isn't ideal for extended gaming sessions. So, which laptop should you buy in 2025? If you want the best battery life, a more refined user experience, and top-tier performance for creative tasks, the MacBook Air M3 is the clear winner. The Dell XPS 13 is a solid option if you prefer Windows and a high refresh display, but its battery life and usability quirks hold it back. For most people, the MacBook Air M3 offers better value. Links for the best deals are in the description. Don't forget to like the video.